Hey, I got a little voltage monitor here that Topdon sent me to try out, which I already did. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a video up on this thing. I'm quite impressed with it. What this is, it's basically got a Bluetooth module in it, and it beams it to your phone, and you can monitor your, your car battery. Now that's all this is for, is your car battery, and it's to test your cold cranking amps to see if your battery should be replaced at any time or not. Kind of impressed with this thing. There's not a tremendous amount to it. Uh, app seems to work quite well, and we'll get into that part. I only found one small issue with that. It's not a deal breaker, but I'm going to make this video kind of short. We're going to get it out, I'll hook it up to the car, show you how to do that, and then the app, uh, it tells you where to go and get it, like on Google Play, the BT Master, and then the App Store BT Master, or you can use that uh, barcode. We're going to hook it up, and I'll try it on a couple different vehicles just to show you. And I was going to put a dead battery on there, but it's too cold outside right now. So, let's get rolling. All right. We're going to get this hooked up to the, got a Nissan Maxima here. Typical battery setup. Now this top Don, I've uh, in the past reviewed videos on their code readers and that. And I got a couple real nice ones. I actually gave one to a friend that's a mechanic and he uses it all the time. So product wise, I've really grown to appreciate top Don. I'm familiar with them. But as far as hooking this up, you're basically just going to hook it up to your positive and negative terminals on your battery. And I would say whether it's running or not shouldn't matter. Uh, pretty decent alligator clips. And if a person can't access their negative battery, just like jumping it or their battery terminal, you could take this and hook it to an engine block and go that route. Now, if you see here, got a red light on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get in the car, and but I just want to show you hooking this up, how fast it is. Hopefully I got my, see if it's working. Well, this location. There we go. Let's see if, there we go. Now, got a green light on, I got it hooked up. I'm running 13.7 volts. Let's get in the car. This sucks. It's like March 4th out, and it's not even probably 5 degrees outside, if not less, in the middle of the day. You're going to have more below zero weather. Terrible. An unreal amount of snow this year. All right, so we're running three. We got the battery test right here which I did. Let's see, let's start test again. Uh, you have regular, wish my screen on my phone didn't have such a bad reflection, but gets the job done. Regular flooded, uh, everything right here, this is just a regular battery. You got your gel, so we're gonna do that one. Hit back, start test. Maybe my finger was cold. Oh, watch this. Go to cranking. I'm gonna go to battery test. Now see it went up to 13.9 volts. Now cranking, that was the hard one. I might have to shut the camera off. It says to shut everything off and then start test, I believe. Watch. Please turn off all electrical equipment and start the car. After that, press OK. And I kept doing that and didn't do anything. But we're going to try that. Please turn everything, all electrical equipment off. Well, I don't want to shut my heater off, but it will. We're going to shut it off. Now I got the car off. Now it says start car. Hit OK. No, it won't work. I got it to work once like that. Start up fail. Now watch this. I'm going to hit OK. You got that on that screen cranking. Hit OK. Now shut it off and start it up while that's going. That's my fuzz buster. Now look at that. Cranking voltage, 10.86. Cranking time, 2820 milliseconds. So it's saying my cranking test is normal. And 10.86 volts, I think if it drops down into like 8 net, like say if it was real cold out, 
you might have an issue. Uh, general cranking voltage value, 9.6 or below is abnormal, above is normal. So it's pretty cool. I can tell you your, uh, if your battery's working okay or not, or it's got some life left into it. Now we have, let's go back, charging. Do not turn off the engine during the test. Uh, first step is okay. I don't know what I'm doing here on this one. Second step, please step on accelerator to increase it, increase it to 25 and click OK to continue. Now, this, once again, I'm at, I'm at 3,000 RPM right now. I hit OK after I revved it up. And loaded voltage, 13.73, no load, 13.84. Charging ripple, not sure what that is, but 19.3 millivolts. Uh, charging system is normal available for use now I'm gonna do something here we're gonna go back and I'm gonna turn all my stuff on it's gonna get loud turn my headlights on now let's rev it up did okay 29 millivolts there we go so that uh, charging ripple went up I'm gonna shut this camera off and look that up quick charging ripple. All right this is a better explanation there are electronic components inside an alternator with diodes and stuff for keeping the ripple as small as possible if one or more dials fail the ripple becomes excessive and this can cause charging issues stress on other components the ripple voltage should be less than 0.1 volts AC so Without going into it that much farther, that is less than 0.1 volt, and the charging system's normal. Uh, you got your settings. Um, here's cranking test on report, just showing different tests they did. Uh, let's see, it shows the date. Pretty cool. Now, you know what? I'm going to go out to my truck and hook it up there, and then we're going to be done. I'm going to start that up cold. Actually, before we do that, watch this. I'd shut it off. Right now I'm running 13.8 volts. Uh, it hooks up good while you're in a car. Let's go hook it up to the truck. Got some water dripping down. Now this is a side post, which works good. And what I'm going to do is shut the hood and we'll see if we can't get this to hook up right inside the car. All right, we're going to do the battery test. If you look now, when it's running, 14.9 volts, charging. everything off I'm up to 2500 we're gonna hit okay high charging please check the charging system that's because it's been sitting and it's below zero out so it's charging like crazy when it warms up it'd be good now let's do cranking. That was weird. Now if you notice, 8.9 volts, it took a while. Cranking test is normal. It said below zero, started the truck up, and then uh, boy, that barely made it for a cranking test. That's a, but with it being that cold out, it's pretty neat. This thing tells you a lot. Uh, battery. Regularly flooded, get back. Let's turn all the heaters on. 14.8 volts. We turn the lights on. 14.7. So this thing works quite well. I'm impressed with it. A mechanic could use definitely use this and a homeowner, you know, when it gets close to winter time, test your batteries out and You'd be able to tell how much life you got left in your battery, uh, your charging system and that. Uh, pretty neat item for the price, I think. Pretty neat. Uh, check that link out down below. I'll put that in there on this Top Don BT Master. So they got some pretty good uh, code readers and stuff like that for vehicles that I've, I think I've tested like four, or three or four or five of them. Don't remember. I know it's at least probably three. But they're a pretty good company and very impressed with this. Not too expensive either. It gets the job done. But anybody that does own them, 
that that part about the cranking where it says to please turn it off and start it and then hit OK. All they do is hit OK, start it, shut the car off, and turn it back on. And then it works fine. That's the only thing that I found weird about this. But generally, hooking up the Bluetooth, it stays hooked up. It does an incredible job. And pretty good product. So there you go. Till next time.